Okay. Uh, this is going to be my first ever speed run of Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. Uh, I'm going to be doing a no major glitches category, uh, which includes no saving and quitting. Uh, found that out. Um, as far as I know, you can use all the minor glitches uh, if you want to. Things like fake flippers and stuff like that. I'm not going to. Uh, the, the primary minor glitch I'm going to be using... Uh, I know there's some bomb jumps I'm going to be using. I don't know if those are considered glitches or not. I don't think they are. Uh, the primary one that I'll be using, though, is the uh, super speed. Super speed glitch. Um, otherwise, I don't think I'm using any other glitches. I don't even know. I mean, I know that's a glitch, but... Well, I'm using item dashing. There'll be some item dashing going on. Um, but I, I can't hover or anything like that. Um... I don't expect to be super great at this. I'm going to take a few safety strats. Uh, this is my first run I've ever done of the base game. Uh, I've been playing a lot of randomizer though, so I expect to be decent at this. I don't expect to be great, but I'm hoping that this shouldn't take me longer than a randomizer. If this takes me longer than two and a half hours, I'm going to be a little surprised. And it'll probably mean that something went wrong. Um, but we'll see. Um, I know there's a lot more text that we have to go through, so that'll definitely slow it down. Um, we're shooting for under two hours, but if I get under three, if I get under two and a half, I'll be happy, basically, um, for a first run especially, so. I haven't really practiced much other than what I've played in Randomizer, so. I mean, and all of the game, all of what I've played in my life. Uh, I think I know the route pretty well. My route might deviate a little bit from what it's supposed to do, but it should be alright overall. Um, I'm only going to get one bottle, not two, um, and I've been, I'm have been i debating whether or not I want to get it early. I guess it kind of depends on how well I'm playing, whether or not I feel like I need it early. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, do this. So, let's go. So right here I'm pressing A, B, and Y rapidly to try and get through the text as quickly and efficiently as possible. I don't know about the the pumping, but the pumping isn't really something I probably need to worry about too much as a small-time runner at this point. Um, I'm trying to like quote unquote do it there, but I don't know that I'm even doing it right. I got the sword. Um, I did watch the tutorial video that you can find on Link to the Past Speedrunning. Um, so, but I didn't watch every single aspect of it. I didn't actually watch anything about the escape. I skipped that portion completely because I was fairly certain that I already know everything that there is for me to know about it. But Because to me, that portion would have just basically been like, this is a walkthrough on what you have to do to get through the escape. Um, I'm taking way too much damage, though. It's okay. Oh, why'd I do that? Ah, that's going to be a thing I have to get used to. Not grabbing chests. It's like the randomizer in me wants to grab every chest I come by. Um, it's, it's just gonna take some time for me to get used to that. Oh, I wanted another heart. I don't really need any actual drops. That's the other thing I have to get used to, is I'm not looking for a bomb, like I'm used to thinking about. Kill him. Thank you. Not looking for a bomb. 
I do want the boomerang. Boomerang's super helpful. Kinda almost necessary at parts. But um, I do have a little uh for the Ice Palace bomb jump. Um, I have a little diagram that I have open that will help me with it because I'm not exactly great at it. I think I want to kill this guy with two pots just like I would in the rando. I think that's way- I think that's still faster. I'm not actually sure though. Need that, that's our lamp. Uh, you get it in that chest because you have to go in there to grab her anyways, so... It's the most convenient chest to grab the lamp out of. You don't have to go out of your way for it at all. Um, the lamp is a weird item, the way that they did it. Uh, it is in any of the first chests in the game. So, I think, like, legitimately, any of- the first chest you open- well, no, because the map is this one back here, but I think, like, the majority of chests in this area have the lamp in it. Like, the map and the boomerang are set and then the rest of the chests in the area are the map. Oh, of course he moved right into my path. You're a douche. Should have thrown my boomerang to stun him before he did it. No, stop talking. <laughs> I can't read it anyway, Zelda. <laughs> You'll notice I am using the Japanese version. Uh, the tutorial video does not have him on the Japanese version. Um, there are a few, like, glitches that I'm going to be using, uh, the super speed one specifically, that do not work on Japanese, or on, uh, American. You have to play it on Japanese 1.0, otherwise it won't work at all. Um, so it's, it's really not, wow, okay, cool. It's really not just because of, uh, um, language speed. I'm, I'm also doing it because of, uh, actual speed as well. Oh, right, that is the key over there. Damn. Making mistakes already. Making mistakes. That's all right. It's all things I can improve on, right? It's all things I can improve on. And that's, that's again my rando taking over right there. I was thinking, like, oh, I don't need that chest. That's, I only get that chest when I'm in randomizer because I could get an item out of it. I wasn't thinking that I need the key that's in that chest. A lot of the times I don't need the key that's in that chest because I already have the key that's in that chest. Get back here. He was much nicer to me the last time I tried to do this run. I didn't finish it the last time I tried to do it. You can find it on my Twitch backlog if you really want to. Um, and I also wasn't playing it correctly, so, you know, take it as it is. My, uh... I was doing save and quits. I didn't know that the rules for no major glitches involved not saving and quitting at the time. Um, I understand why they do that too. Like, I, I do for sure get the idea of don't save and quit. Um, just play the game. It, 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 it introduces all of the overworld routing and it, it really makes the game a good deal more interesting in that regard. Now we're gonna get a talk to here. You can hear me rapidly tap on my controller. Probably can hear my dog drinking water in the background. We gotta go get the Sword of Evil's Bane! Gonna grab the Sanctuary Heart. Even some of the best runners grab that for their... for their runs, so... I know that if you want to be like, oh, where am I going? Bleh, done. Oh, and I didn't do my split either. Okay, well that split will be able to be way improved next time because I didn't do it right at all. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Next time that split will be way better 
and then my Eastern Palace split will also be better, and they'll just all be better because I'll be splitting at the right time. Uh, escape is supposed to end. Um, the escape split for me is probably going to end right when um, I'm done talking to the sanctuary guy, and I get control back right then. Um, but there is nothing to do right now other than go straight to Eastern Palace. Um, I think we actually want to go this way. This is a portion of the routing I should probably have looked further into, just to have gotten a better idea of the route to take. Those guys were kind of in the way. Way faster to stun them than it is to, uh, to stun that one and go by him than it is to actually kill him. If that soldier gets in your way, you just stun him as well. Sometimes he'll be not in your way. It's much better that way. I'm going to be talking the whole way through this like I know what I'm doing. It's going to be great. Um, if I was going to be buying the bottle, I'd be going down there for the safety rupees. Um, but I'm not. So... This I should have paid more attention to. I think he just talked about just using the pods and just killing the skeletons. I don't think he actually like talks about the trick here where you can like kill them before they spawn. I have no idea how it even works. I was I kind of need to find out about it a little better than I have. Oh my god, I'm getting owned. Die! Die, I say! That's bad. I need health. My health is a little bit low for the trick I need to do. It'll be super dangerous. Just arrows. Oh well. That's probably all that one is, too. Oh wells! I know where there's a couple hearts that we can get, so... Into the door. There might be hearts in there. We're not going to bother with them. They don't matter. This is where I wish I had the boots. <laughs> Get hit. Grab a pot. Now I'll die if I do it. Okay. Ooh, health is low. Ideally, you get it, you grab the pot and you get the button right as your invulnerability frames end right there and you only get hit out. You don't have to, like, go back in. That's the ideal situation. But it did not occur. I am a little low on life. It would be a better idea, probably, for me to go and get some heals. But we're gonna be brave boys and just keep on going. Get the ten arrows there. That button. Avoid that bullet for some reason. That doesn't normally happen, but that's okay. Ah! They had a weird movement pattern. That's not too normal. Damn. That's okay. messed it up. It wasn't fast enough.
I didn't expect to get that on my first try, but... So, I'm gonna do this the way I've seen other runners doing it, um, which is that when... You end it after the sword spin. Right there. Okay, so, we need to go back to Sarah Salah. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Go through a bunch of texts to get our boots. Because he's going to tell us the story of the three pendants and how to get the sword and ask us if we want to get the sword and both options say yes actually so it doesn't really matter. Oh, he doesn't ask us if we want the sword anymore, that's right. Oh, I'd accidentally talk to him again. Okay, come up here, go boop. For some bounds. And a hundred rupees. Which we will need eventually, but not yet. Okay, cool. And now we can dash. So he has Pegasus boots. Okay, everything's going great so far. I didn't go down low enough. That could have been better done. I could have not bonked, too. That would have made it even better done. But I bonked. It's okay. Oh, right. He had... That's right. He said you should go like that. I bonked! Why? All the bonking. Stop bonking. Okay, so now you would, in in a speed run where you're not worried about safety, this is where, okay, this is where you would uh, go straight to, um, the desert. I, however, am going to go grab this bottle and the bug catching net, uh, so that fairies become a catchable option and I can get that one extra life. I don't think I'll need more than the one. Um, I should be good with only one bottle, which is why I didn't get the rupees in Eastern Palace. I don't plan on buying the other one. Um, problem is the bug catching that takes a little while, um, it, but you know, because you have to do the all the talking. And there is a better time to get it because we will be coming to this town later, uh, and we'll be actually coming with the intention of staying in this town later, um, but. It's okay, we can get it here and save ourselves a little bit of heartache. Damn it. Tesk tesk. Excuse me, mister. Oh, right, I can't do that yet. <laughs> uh, it's done. See ya. Excuse me. He said he lines up with this piece of grass and then goes. And then that allows him to just go straight across the desert to right about there. We can go right up. That works beautifully! <laughs> That's awesome how well that works. Okay. And we're off to Desert Palace. There's a pillar there. Damn. And 
Wow. That is not the key room. That's the room with the map. The rando in me. It's like, go in this room, because you get a chest. And I'm like, I don't want the chest. Just dash all the way across. Come down here and go to the key door. Dispatch all the foes. Move up into the cannon room. We got lucky. We could get all the way across. Can we do it again? Nope. That's okay. Would have been better to be safe and take less damage, but that's alright. That's right, and then that one there. Okay. I have to try to remember that. You do that for the arrows, because you're going to need them. You want the arrows that are in that room. Is there a heart in this room? Because if you get it now, yeah, the one right behind the button. Go flush to the wall. Oops, let's see dash all the way down. This I already knew. I didn't need the uh, little helper guide thing little tutorial to tell me about that one. Go into the second portion. We are on our way. We can push this just like that. Go up. Grab this key. That's not gonna work. That's a hard, that's a harder key dash to do though. It really is. Oh, I went to the wrong side of the room first. Should have gone left first. I don't know why I went right first. Ah. Well, I had the timing right for the first shot, but... Yeah, I'm trying to react too late to each of them now. been worse. I got the timing right for when to start shooting to your left at least, but I didn't get um, all the shots off. Okay. I went down the wrong side. That's okay. We just want to leave the desert anyways. go. I don't think there's anything to do in the overworld during this portion. I don't think there's any overworld chores for us to do yet. I think we just want to get to...
Dang it. Dang it. Come on. There we go. Pretty sure we just want to get to, uh... Death Mountain as quickly as possible. Oh, I remember the route I remember seeing him take. Yeah, he took the route through the forest up next to Link's house. That's why it seemed a little different. Over next to the castle. That's where he went. Alright, so we got the old man with us now. <sighs> Nose always itches when I do this kind of thing. I don't know why. Um, so with the old man with us, we can't really... Uh, we can't really dash. It slows you down. Actually, I think just having the old man with you slows you down in general. Um, interesting note, if you hug that left wall, the bats will never hit you. Basically, the most important item in the game. Didn't get it. I'm gonna try again. One more time. Nope. We're just gonna dodge boulders now. Oh, I did get it. I can't swing my sword. I did get it. I just wasn't on the ladder. I'll have it coming off of this here. Whee! But I'm really low on health because of it. I got all messed up there. Right, avoid the ball. Okay. My health is low. All right, kill me. Intentional death. I want my health back. I need to go back. I was gonna mirror anyways, but I got hit by the Moldorm, so that'll just get me back some health. Kill because he's in my way. They don't do this in the speedrun, but I'm going to. Damn it. Now I don't have very many arrows. Now I don't know if I want to anymore. Ow! Oh my god! If I die to tiles, I'm gonna be sad. Lots of magic. There's lots and lots of magic. Ah. 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 I keep going to that, that bottle. It's a really good reason to not have it in inventory. Oh my god. <sighs> so my Tower of Hera is terribly bad this time. Terribly bad. This is not how you do Tower of Hera. 
Not at all. Even if I was playing rando, I'd be upset with myself right now. This is this is bad. Like I was saying, this is bad. This is this is really bad. That was bad. That was super bad. That's okay. Hit the safety switch. I'm apparently gonna need it. Get the heart. And we get to do fun times with bomb jumping. Oh, what? Oh, man. Just wasted a bomb because I picked it up like a dork. And then I got hit. It's okay. Did the bomb jump, everything's fine. This is going exactly as planned. Okay. Sword spins do not matter on this boss. It's one of the things to remember about him. Um, your white sword always does one point of damage to him, regardless of how, of, um, how you hit him. So, holding your- damn it. Holding your sword out is the best way to deal with him, because as long as your sword's out, he can't knock you off, as long as he's, uh, as you're facing him. Um, so, you want to be, like, just poking him with your sword as much as possible, um, just because that- is the best strategy you can do for safety against Trolldorm here. Um, otherwise, just try to always keep your sword facing him. Um, when he's going really fast, it's even a better time to do that. You want to try to kill him towards the middle of the arena if possible because he drops his heart container, and you want to try to be there in time to grab the pendant. But it doesn't always work out. But that's the easy way, quote unquote, easy way to deal with Trolldorm. Okay, so now we want to head down the mountain. You hop down right there and break Link's legs because holy crap. Are a bunch of pits right there, but um, ah, oh, I freaking did it. Oh man. Okay, we need the boomerang next, I think. I think it's the boomerang is the next item I'm gonna be using. And we head into the forest. Wow, I did that way better than I expected to. Don't worry, we are gonna grab the mushroom just on the way out. We're not gonna be that risky and, and go with no mushroom. Didn't bonk on the Master Sword. We aren't going to be turning in the mushroom for a while, but we are going to be grabbing it. We won't turn in the mushroom until we have, um, the flute. Um.
Oh my gosh, stop! <laughs> um, the reason you don't grab it on the way in is because it respawns. Um, it's something that Rando doesn't teach you, is that the, uh, the, the mushroom is a continuously respawning item. It'll come back over and over and over and over again. So, you don't want to grab it early because then you, you just have it early. You, you don't want that. Okay. One of those directions that people don't usually go. It's one of the reasons why I understand why they like the idea of doing the overworld movement. It's because you don't see people go that direction very often. And we go on in. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of let these guys come down until their shoes touch. Then you walk up and spin, kill them every time. I like that. That's cool. I forgot to charge my swords. So we gotta. Ah, this room went badly. Ah! <laughs> I forgot to charge my sword before I left the other room. Right, you can. Really easy uh, key dash right there. Ah, I shouldn't have slashed. I would have been fine. Okay, so I don't have sword beams, so I'm good in that regard. Found out that sword beams uh, apparently wake up all of the guards. They alert every guard to your presence. Okay, I didn't get hit. That's all that really matters. Because we don't actually have to kill the uh, the bats, I found out. We only have to kill the red guards. The bats don't matter. How did he... Okay. They do pretty often drop hearts. Interesting. Is it that one with the bomb? No. Which one has the arrows? That one has arrows. Just avoid those guards and move on. Push that block and move on. This is Boomerang Central 101 right here. Boomerang speeds up that area a lot. It's one of the reasons why you, you do grab Boomerang, because it is very helpful to the speedrun. I went the wrong way, because I'm dumb. That's okay. We don't want to super speed this room, because I wouldn't be able to slash. I went the wrong way, though. You're supposed to start going around his, his altar and not walk up it. RNG the game right here. The first one's always an orb to teach you about it, and then from then on it's 50-50. So my first 50-50 was a blue ball straight away. I think you want to try to stay horizontal with him whenever possible because the blue balls won't hurt you that way. Um, every fifth shot is a lightning bolt. 
and he repeats this forever and ever. Um, I think the maximum number of blue balls you can get, though, is 15, I think. At least I think that's what he said in this tutorial video. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Now we get cast to the dark world! So again, I'm not going to end this portion of the split of the, uh, the split until he swings his sword and I get my... That's what I'm going to do. gone away like immediately anyways so it doesn't really help that much okay so in the dark world here we really don't have much that we can do other than go straight to palace of darkness at this point so we go straight to palace of darkness um, and we'll have a fun time there with Helmosaur um, however that being said I do want to come down here I think it's this tree. Ah! Hey now, get out of the way. Get out of the way, please. Thank you. I wanted to grab that, and I could have swore that item dashing grabs it automatically. But it doesn't, apparently, so. Never mind. We'll get fairies in the dungeon via our very minimal bombs at this point. But there's lots and lots of bombs to be gotten in there. Uh, we need to absolutely make sure that we pay Kiki. If I accidentally push no Kiki, then I will be a sad, sad Kiki owner. Kill him just to be safe. Tell him I want him to open it, and we're in the palace. Where we are most certainly going to want our mirror and our mirror all over the place. Ah. <laughs> Just like in Rando, you mirror out of this dungeon all over the place. <coughs> Just <coughs> all over the place. Both of the <coughs> both of those bots have bombs. Um, and the number of times we're gonna be going through that room. Actually just one of them off right there. I'm gonna grab a few extras. Cause I am low on bombs. Especially if I do that. It makes me really low on bombs. It's okay, it's okay. I mean, it's not, but it's okay. The big key. And... We're out. Once again, I'm gonna grab both bombs. Just to be sure that I'm gonna have enough bombs later on. Up here, push that. Dash onward. This is key. I didn't do that right. You're supposed to line up with the bottom, turn to the side. No! Lame. 
There we go. Bunch of rupees I didn't really need, but that's okay. this path perfectly yet, so... <coughs> we got the MC! We're up to maximum bombs right now, which is definitely good for me. That red one wanted my blood. Like, really bad. Okay, let's grab some health back there. Uh, we need to... I guess I didn't need to pick up all those extra bombs. I forgot that there's, like, that many extra bombs in this dungeon. They are everywhere, aren't they? I'm gonna grab the extra arrows, because... And I'm gonna look for health. Alright, no health. Tons of arrows, though. Arrows are good now. <laughs> Took a hit. That's unfortunate. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. We are... Totally gonna die to Helmosaur. And everything is not going to be fine. <laughs> but let's just pretend for the moment that that's not true. Let's just pretend. Just, just, just pretend for now. If you would, please. Okay, I think you, yeah. You want to have your sword charged up. Because you hammer, hammer. Oh my god. That went as badly as it possibly could! <laughs> and I was supposed to get a fairy by the time I was here. That's what that tree was for. I'm just looking for the rupees that I'm not getting. Everything sucks. Here we go. No damage, Helmosaur. Why not? I knew I was going to die to Homosaur. That's why I needed the fairy. But I didn't get the fairy because, for some reason, it didn't drop for me the way it was supposed to. And now I'm here, and so I just get to just do this. So here we go. We're just going to do this, baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. Couldn't have done this worse. Oh my god. Yes, I could have.
Got it. Alright. I was supposed to shoot that, and I didn't because I'm bad. Like I said, this is my first run. Right now, I literally don't even have a use for the bottle that I've gotten because I got none of the fairies I was supposed to get. Um, so I just have a bottle that is burning a hole in my pocket. Which is cool, that's cool. That's just, that's exactly what I like to have uh, bottles doing is just, Oh, I don't need to... Ah. Then I don't have to menu more. Charge your sword. You come in, you hammer right there, you sword spin. That didn't do what I thought it was gonna do, but it's okay. Ow! Still killed the enemies. Only got hit once. Everything's okay. It could be worse. Everything could be so much worse. a hard fight, okay? That's a hard fight. Legit. I forgot I'm supposed to be doing the sword spin pickup. It's more about just catching that you're supposed to catch it with a spin. If you catch it with a spin, you skip like the first couple frames of the animation or something like that. I don't know. We have to go through just a ton of text. Man, I am way behind. How do these people do that so fast? I mean, I know my Tower of Hera was pretty slow. My Agnum's Tower wasn't bad, though. Um, my Palace of Darkness was definitely slow. I died, so I could have been done like four, four or five minutes ago. Um, so, I know that. But there's still a good portion of the game left, and some of those leaderboards, they're like down to like a new board. Like, it takes them like no time. It's crazy. We're done in like an hour 25. Okay. Round two with catching the fairy. Save a bit of time there. Bada bada boo, bada bada doo. 
Okay. Got ourselves a flute. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. See, so this is when we could have gotten the bottle, and now would have been a perfect time for it for me anyways, because I didn't even use it. So... Ba -da -ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da. Damn it. I get two bees. <laughs> Ow. That was not at all where I wanted to jump down. But I did. Oh, I didn't go get my freaking powder. Oh, that's a bad. That's a real bad. Oh. You know what? Oops. That won't. No! I press start! That's bad enough that I'm just gonna leave. Uh, this This will be a bad split, but. Oops. I don't know if I can do this without the powder, to be honest. Okay, because now we'll just come right back here and just go right back to the door. Not a huge amount of time lost, about a minute or so. Minute and a half, maybe. Since I already got the big key, at least. It's not a huge deal. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. Ow! I legit wanted to select the hook shot right there. Want to reset the monsters to get this fairy if you feel like you need it, which I do. 
Um, because it just makes it much easier to manipulate. Because all the monsters, it just works out perfectly for you to get that one on the way down. What? Weird. Weird. These things are super dangerous. Okay, we're good. Okay, apparently this room, just go a little bit to the right, start a dash down, and you're through. Wow, okay, so you are. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost always go up, but sometimes it is dangerous. Sometimes they do go up and attack me. I'm just gonna kill him. I got kind of lucky on that little uh, conveyor belt bridge there. All right, hey, look at that. I'm going to the blind fight with full hit points. badly like really badly <laughs> I lost complete control of it is what happened that's what you want to do when you grab the item it's the spin thing if you see the spin go around you you did it right Yeah, that went really, that blind fight went really, really poorly for me. But it's okay, it's okay. We have, for one, this next dungeon is like, a good deal easier, in my opinion. The dungeon is at least. The boss, not so much, but the dungeon certainly is. Oh, whoops. Because we are off to Skull Woods. Oh, but not yet. We need to do some chores first. That I almost forgot about. That would have been pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh, darn it. Um, with my randomizer experience that I have speedrunning randomizers, I don't think I need half magic. I think I'm good. Um, so I'm not gonna get half magic. We kinda got the powder mostly as a safety item. Um, so I'm not gonna get half magic, but I am going to definitely, absolutely, most positively, yes, get the Tempered Sword. Like, yes, please. <laughs> I 
Okay. Go back to the dark world. Warp ourselves right into their door. And get our sword. That'll send us immediately back to the dark world. And with sword in hand, we rush off to Skull Woods. I keep bonking on that tree. I don't know why I went around. That was kind of dumb, but it's okay. It's a fine. We'll just pick up that bush. I kind of want that. Fairy, please. Fairy, please. Thank you. Took a bit of damage to get it, but hey, it's fine. Okay. This room sucks, but that's okay. We're gonna stun them. Cool. Get out of the way. Oh my god, the damage I just took. The damage I just took. Unfortunate there. That's okay. Go in. Go in, go in, go in. Ow. I'm gonna get a fairy on the way, but... Oh, cool. That's really helpful. All the magic they dropped is extremely, extremely helpful. Hardest goddamn boss in the game. Forgetting that I'm even gonna have all the text before I get to do it, so I keep like getting ready to do my split, but I need to not do that because I need to get ready to do the spit on the catch. 
I see now actually why a lot of speedrunners do it after they at the end of their thing because it, it, it does kind of make sense to do it that late. All right, so I guess really, oh hey, there's a puppy getting up on a getting up on a couch behind me. Um, also, you can see all my laundry in the background. Wow. And that I have a little hanging hair whenever I look over at the, the thing. That's great. Cool. We now don't want to do that. We want to go boom a minute, 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 minute. And then we want to go boom a minute, 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 minute. And then we want to go. Oh crap. Uh, it's a Link's house, right? Yeah. Um, because before Ice Palace, you go get, yeah, you go get the ability. Oh, I didn't get, I didn't get the rupees in Village of Outcasts. That's a bit unfortunate, but we'll get him now. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Ow, and then I hurt myself doing it. Why do I have so many rupees? Where did I not buy? Oh, whatever. Just in case I end up needing them for something. I have way too many rupees though. Yeah, because you you go down to Link's house. And then from Link's house, we're gonna go north up to the portal at the pyramid. Not get hit by that guy like 20 times. That's not part of what you're supposed to do. Which is why I know about this one. Because I'm bad. And this is because we're gonna go up to Lake Hylia. Oh, well, this isn't Lake Hylia. Uh, we're gonna go up to Zora's Domain, I guess you would call it. We're gonna need Quake eventually anyways, so we want to go up here and get it. And right now, in order to go to Ice Palace, we need the flippers, so it's time to come up here and get said flippers. too much. Could I not? <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. 
Get the finger webs. Push on down here to hop off again. Okay. Now that we've left there. Again, something we will need later, but at this point, it's not a big deal. You're already off grabbing stuff anyways, might as well come up here and... Yeah, I needed 600 rupees to end the run, that's one of the reasons why I went and grabbed the other 300. Um, because we are gonna grab silver arrows, so I will need enough money for the bomb shop later on. Okay, so we're coming up to the, the hardest part of the run for me, basically, right now. you don't run right there. I don't know why I did in the first place. Wow, do you all have to be being all lightning -y? Like, every single one of you? Great! <laughs> Not a good place to miss. Can't believe I did that without getting hit. So I'm, I'm where I need to be, so place the bomb, slash my sword. Ah, I was, I didn't position myself right. I, I know what I'm looking for now. Okay. Got it. for the fire bar to go by before you do the little wall pound. I was just so happy I got the bomb jump, like I didn't I didn't know what to think. Aww. Uh, ice palace, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so because I'm a little baby, I'm a little baby boy, um, oh no, oh it's okay, it's on blue, everything's fine, right, it's on blue, yeah, everything's fine, everything is fine, it's because I'm a little baby boy, we're gonna come over here, 
we're gonna catch. We already have a fairy in the bottle. We already have a fairy in the bottle. I'm a dummy babby boy. I'm a dumb babby boy, but that's fine. I don't mind being a dumb babby boy. Okay, I have a full magic meter, so everything is fine. It wouldn't be if I didn't, but I do. So hopefully, this fight goes well. We're in trouble. We're in trouble! This is why I got a, wanted to have a fairy. Because that last rock hitting me before I got that sword spin off put me in a large amount of trouble. Cold stare, man. Cold stare. It's okay. It's okay. That's what gets better as you play the game more and as you practice it. If I ever actually really want to, like, really start speedrunning the base game and not just play randos, I'm gonna need to make some safe states outside each of the bosses. Like, each of them. Because I think literally every boss fight is what I could do better. I don't think there's a single boss fight I do I do as well as I could. But Okay. Oh, I need get what I needed. I'm still learning the route. That's the other thing, too. I'm still learning the route. Elsa, do not start growling and barking. You know I'll get mad at you about it. So don't even do it, dog. Sweet. Wow! Way to give him a huge ass kick! <laughs> oh, damn it. Keep bonking on everything! Okay. No, my menuing could be better, my dashing could be better, my boss fights could be better. Um, you know, it just, it, let's just go ahead and say it as it is. It all could be better. My routing is, needs work because I need to learn the route better. Like, it just all could be better. That being said, what we have left to do isn't a lot. Uh, we only need to do Meyer. Um, oh, I don't need to. Wait. Only need to do Meyer and uh, Swamp. 
and, uh... Can't attack through the Lumos. Uh, we need to do Mire, and then we need to do Swamp, and then we need to do Turtle Rock, and then we just go to Ganon. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really actually not that much. This key, and then leave. Ow! That guy was dead on! So, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is I could really easily see this still being under two hours for me. Because I think I have the ability to still do this. Okay, we gotta go back for the Canis of Mario still, so we need to go, go and grab that. Otherwise, I'm good, um, of course. I, I should have actually just switched and hit that with the magic powder so that I didn't lose any magic power or, uh... This key is technically slower than one I could have gotten later, but it's safer. So... I say that, and then I get hit by, like, everything on the way there. Oops. Oh, dang it. Come on. Let's get some health back. Let's get back up to full. Samaria. Fairly certain that I don't need another key because of the fact that I got... Or do I? Crap, I don't actually know. Do I need to grab the key from underneath the spike bot? Is this a key door? It's not. Okay, yeah, we're good. slow there. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. We can grab more safety health. Again, I'm not gonna grab it here. Actually, we'll grab it a little, a little further on. Right there.
Oh, I didn't get the sword spin off. Oh well. No sword spin for me! Yeah, the one that I really, really focused on learning was the Ice Palace Bomb Jump out of the tutorial. Like, I like really studied, I studied that portion of the tutorial like three or four times. So, you're looking for that second little like triangle outcropping. Um, and you want it, to, when you back up onto it, you want it to have between zero and four pixels. Um, or zero and three rather. Uh, specifically looking for three and two. Um, But, but yeah. And what's we'll go back to Link's house. Into the dark world. I didn't mean to do that again. That always happens to me. I'm really bad at the, uh... Ah! God! Stop! <laughs> oh, God damn it. I needed my sword beams. I really did. It's so weird playing this game like this. Well, so far the bottles only paid off once because I died during blind. And I had the bottle to save me for it. Um, if I'd gotten the fairy, it would have saved me twice this run. That is how you hope that room looks. That is a, that is a good way for that, to, for that room to look if done nicely. That was a bonk. That can be done. Pretty sure. I guess I could be wrong. I think it can be, though. It looks like it can be done. Fire bar. Heat fire bars. Fire snakes bother me, even though, like, I know that. I now know that, like, only the front of them can even hurt you. They still bother me. Yeah, I've done, I've done swamp a lot in randos. I go to, I go to swamp in randomizers probably more than I should, because um, I know it is a really long dungeon, and so the, they say like you know you want to try to be in go mode whenever you can for this dungeon, so that you don't have to do it like at all. Um, I end up doing this dungeon kind of a lot. Let's get rid of him, because feel like it. 
cool part about this, you just boop, 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 boop. <laughs> not have been faster to do the item dash there, but, you know, I had the hammer out, so I figured, why not? Oh, get out of here, fire bar. Hey! Don't you do that. Luckily, other than just a little bit of lost time, because I got, because, I, you know, I got hit, and that takes a little bit of time, um, there isn't any, like, full health strategies for this game that we directly need. Or for for this game. There aren't any full health strategies that we need for this dungeon. Um, ow. Like I said, other than the fact that it takes time that I'm losing, there's not really any like, oh my gosh, that sucks, I really would have liked to have sword beams. Really? I thought I timed that right. Oh well. Need, I didn't need the bomb, but I I noticed that he left that one out when he was talking about what was in each pot. Argan Fargan. I thought I was gonna get away without getting hit by him, but I did not. Long movements from him this time. Oh, that great. Come on. That's Swamp Palace. We're off to the final portion of the game. All we have to do is get through Turtle Rock, Ganon's Tower, and we'll be done. But we're not gonna go straight for Ganon's Tower, or straight for Turtle Rock right now. Um, we're gonna go get ourselves a golden sword and silver arrows first. Um, once we have the golden sword and silver arrows, we'll go straight to Turtle Rock from there, and then we'll be doing Turtle Rock, and then we just run over to Ganon's Tower, do Ganon's Tower, which is actually much longer than it is in the randos most of the time. Sometimes it can be longer in the randos, but not really. I don't know why my nose is itching so much, but it is. It's really annoying, actually. Stop it.
blum 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 para para This is one of the things that you won't see um, a lot of runners do. Uh, reason being is just the time it takes to get it, um, and you don't really need it. But it's a thing you're seeing me do, because I'm not the best. Over into Paradox Cave here. Paradox Cave, just so everybody knows, Paradox Cave is my favorite cave in Randomizer. Fine, be that way, fairy. I didn't want you either. Giving little rock dudes, they make me mad. Okay. So, the other thing that I'm semi worried about is actually in this dungeon. Um, trick wise. Like, I was concerned about the Ice Palace bomb jump, but then I got it on my second try. So, that's pretty good. Um,. But I am fairly concerned about um, blurry. I am fairly concerned about the this dungeon um, and its trick. Never been able to be fast enough to grab that immediately on my left. I don't know why. I've just never been able to pull it off. We'll be safe. Oh, I don't have a fairy in my bottle. Uh oh. Well, there's plenty of anti fairies in this dungeon. Like, legit, there are tons of them. Whoa, what just happened right there? That was weird. Okay, uh, we're coming up on a room that's gonna scare me a little bit. Ah! Go away! Because they will kill me in two hits right now. Which is this room. See, they hurt a lot. They're scaring me. Don't kill me! <laughs> Don't kill me, bro! I always get hit by that guy. I don't know how to do that little staircase down fast, as fast as they do, like, at all. This is the land of fairies, though. Go away. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the powder out because I'm gonna use it again fairly soon. Coming up here in this next room. I'm gonna use it right here. I'm gonna 
apparently going to take a hit doing it, but that's okay, because we're going to catch a fairy in the bottle. And then, unfortunately, we have to dodge them because I did it that in that order, but that's all right. No! <laughs> it's okay. I almost forgot we actually had to come down over here. Like, I was like, oh man, I have to go back right now. But, like, I forgot the big key is, like, why we came over here and it's just right there. So, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, as a speedrunner who's barely ever really done much speedrunning in this game, um, I'm low on magic, too. That's not great. Yeah, I don't think I can... Ow! I didn't know they hurt that bad! Oh, hey, fairy. Oh, come back, fairy. Thank you. Ooh, hello there. Um... I think that the time that it takes to go get the mirror shield to make laser bridge safer is kind of ridiculously pointless. Um, like, I wouldn't bother at all, personally. It would have been better to use the King of Samaria there, but I have no magic left, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough for this here. Oh crap, I went the wrong way because I didn't hold down. That's right, you just hold down. You wanna grab out hook shot, cause ow. I went just a stupid path. Don't go the way I did. It's dumb. <laughs> So everybody's aware. The way I went is dumb. Okay. Coming up on Laser Bridge here. Crap. Gotta get rid of him. So we'll, I guess, just kill him. Is that low enough? Nope, it's not. That looks low enough now. It might have been, but... That was low enough, but then I hit the... I got hit by a laser anyways. Ridiculously low that you gotta go. <sighs> it's like I said, I was worried about this trick. I actually legit was worried about this trick. Turned off too early. It's okay. I'm out of magic here, but it's okay. Oh. Well then. Now I can do cool tricks. 
Oh! Hiya! Haha! <laughs> okay, hey, look at that! Everything worked out great, didn't it? Yeah, it's exactly as planned. This is gonna be a little over two hours. Just a little over two. I did that quite well. That I did quite badly. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that I did really badly. <laughs> I didn't get this, the timing for the spin right at all. I do that better most of the time in randos, so like, I've had some practice with that fight. Oh well. That I definitely did not do better. I could have done that that better, for sure. Uh, the the first portion of it though was magical. I did really well for the first the first portion of that fight. I did it by the book. Just walk in, hit that one with the ice rod, one, two, switch to the fire rod, three, walk over, hit that one with the fire rod, one, two, three. If you're lucky and you pull it off just perfectly, Trinex won't even get a, uh, a tail or a head attack in. It'll just instantly die. Um, but the where it placed its head attack actually wasn't a big deal. Um, because where its head attack lied uh, caused me to actually not lose any time because of the head attack. If the head attack happens like too late into the death of the, of the ice head, you can actually legit lose time waiting for the head attack to complete before the game will allow you to uh, move on from it. So, and now we do Ganon's Tower. Um, just to be sure that everything goes okay for me and nothing goes awful. Um, I am going to be getting Where am I going? Don't need to go right side. I am going to be getting the red mail. Uh, it's it's a very small time investment in my opinion it is worth it is worth it to make sure that I can finish the run out without just dying over and over again and, and everything being awful. So Oh my god, I don't think I've ever managed to do that. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Not, okay. I'll take it. I wasn't supposed to do that because I, I, for one, you know, I'm not supposed to get hit. But, you know. Oops, that's okay. Whee! Oh. You know what? Just get rid of it. Make another one. <laughs> Don't have sword beams, so we'll do it with that. I found out a way to get past this that I never do. Oh, didn't pull it off. You can bonk on the wall. Don't. I <laughs> don't need it. Don't. Yeah, I found a fast way through this room, too, that I didn't know about when I was watching this little thing. Just pulled to that wall there. There we go. Did it without taking the damage. That's good. I kind of want to, like, leave those guys there as, like, a time buffer. Because if it takes me too long trying to set it up and they come over and hit me... hit me past it, then, you know, I'm good. Like, I don't have to be concerned. Oh, yeah. Got him trapped.
Eh, that could have been a little better. That's okay, though. 22 arrows is more than enough. I don't need to go pick up the extra arrows. Should have hookshotted. The hookshot would have been faster. <laughs> ah. There's our red mail. Let me mirror out. I'm supposed to have sword beams right now, but that's okay. Don't need to. We're gonna have to use the bow anyways. We're about to take some perm some purposeful damage here, so. Damn it, I knew that was going to happen. I was trying to avoid it. God damn it! a disgusting fight. Oh my god, I don't know that I've ever done that bad at them. Oh god, gross. Ugh. Ugh, it makes me want the arrows. <laughs> I wanted the heart, but I did not find it. <laughs> like, at all. Come on. Let's stop making... Let's stop making... Am super amateur mistakes. I mean, I'm gonna speed run this dungeon more than that. Okay, what did I just say? I have speed run this dungeon more than that. Phoning it in at the end. Phoning it in at the end. I don't understand why they go the right one, then I should have dashed. I didn't, but I should have. Wow. 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 
down that much. That's unfortunate. I should be on the hook shot. That's the bombs. Yeah, you want to try to stun that Helmosaur. Um, if you fail to stun him, then you at least want to um, use the invulnerability frames to not have to deal with him. I got a double, I got a double. And then he blue balled me like a dick. Oh. This one sucks. Oh, I got him. I actually almost hit him with that other one that sucked. There we Yeah, this will be faster than most of my randos. I'll get better at this too, because like I had some I had some stupid errors. And when I get better at this, this will be faster than most of my randos for sure. I knew that was gonna hit me, it's fine. I've got tons of health. I found out why I don't get doubles though too. Um, that's the first time I've ever gotten Torch Witch, by the way. Um, but I did find out why the doubles don't happen. Um, if you hit him with an arrow and it pushes him into the edge, he will automatically teleport out and he won't you won't get a uh, you won't be able to get a double. But if you hit him with an arrow and it pushes him across the battlefield but not to an edge, you uh, you're good. Two hours, three minutes, twenty seconds to speedrun the actual game. And that was my first ever run. I could easily do this in 150. Cause like if I was if I was if I got just better at the game in general, like I died on blind, like if I did a deathless run, that right there cuts like what? I died on blind and had to ferry. So it doesn't cut a ton, that's just probably a few seconds. But I literally died on Helmsor and had to had to ferry or had to go all the way back through because even with my safety bottle, I didn't have a ferry at all. Also, the bottle messed up my menuing a couple times. So if I could cut the bottle out completely, that would be 
That would be good. If I could cut the bottle out, a bottle out of the game, absolutely, totally. Um, which I actually think I'm really close to being able to do that. I only actually used my fairy. Well, I used it to get across the laser bridge. That much is for sure. I need to learn laser bridge skip better. Laser bridge skip, I don't quite think I grasp. The bomb jump, I think I've got. Uh, with this, especially with this little, like, it, it's easy for me to remember now that I've seen it. Like, to be honest, it's it's not that complicated. You get it down to the, like I said, the two pixels or the three pixels um, when you're flush against the wall. If you see that, then you know you're in the right place. You place your bomb and then you move down so that there's a pixel between your the top of your sword and the bomb's shadow. Um, and then that'll blow you across every time. Um, so that bomb jump, I understand how to do it. The other two bomb jumps in the game are not hard at all. They're, I, I have my own setup for them, and then beyond that, there's like a really easy setup for them. Um, I, yeah, I, I think that they're, they're quite simple. Um... I don't know, I think it's going to be a while before I can cut out the golden sword and the silver arrows. Um, I have definitely seen runners do it without it. I, I, I do believe that it is faster to do it without it, probably by like a minute. I, I'd guess you save a minute doing it without it. Um, but not dying at Helmosaur would have saved me like five minutes right there. Doing the route correctly would have saved me probably five minutes. Uh, not bonking as much, getting my dashes off better. Um, I think I could, I think I could easily pull under two hours. I really do. I, I really think that under two hours is a super, a super easy goal for me. I think under an hour 50 is probably my real challenge goal. Um, beating one hour 50 minutes would probably be my real challenge. Uh, beating, beating an hour 40 is probably a long ways away from me. I am not, I, my boss execution needs to get a lot better before I can do better than an hour 40. So does my, uh, my bonking. I need to get just a lot better at playing the game if I want to beat an hour 40. Um, I'm probably never going to be more than like kind of a casual speedrunner at this game though. Um, I don't think I'm going to end up being one of the crazy super high in the scoreboard ones but that being said if i can get like an hour 50 hour 40 i could be on the scoreboard that'd be cool um i'm just kind of innately already good at this game to be honest because like i've played it all my life um so i'm kind of innately already good at this one and a lot of it's speed you up tricks like it's really important speed running tricks like the super speed and stuff like that are not that hard to pull off. Um, super speed without the hook shot is a little tougher. Um, and you don't get the hook shot till the end, which is annoying, but. And I could have used it in certain places. Like uh, when I left Swamp, I should have, I should have uh, done a hook dash there to get super speed on those stairs and super speed it out instead of just dashing up. Um, you know, just little, little optimizations like that, that don't really, cause you already have the hook shot from the boss fight. So it's already out. So you can already hook dash, um, little optimizations like that can really save you a lot of time when you don't expect them to, but <coughs> I need to do dinner because I haven't eaten anything since lunch. Um, I'm going to go and get my dinner going and let these credits roll because if I want this to be like an official speed run with official times and stuff like that, uh, these credits need to roll. Um, every time from here that I actually decide to do this category, uh, my splits will be here. You'll be able to see what my, how good I'm doing versus the last ones I did. Um, I did the route wrong, so it'll be interesting to see how those splits hold. Um, and if I ever end up like being like, for example, the, uh, the Thieves Town split has a chance of being really hard for me to beat because the Thieves Town split, I, uh, 
I didn't do right. Um, because I was supposed to get... While I went into Thieves Town without the powder, true, that was a big mistake on my routing part, um, I also was supposed to get the 300 rupees in either hut, um, that I did not get. And then the way that my rupee routing went, I actually didn't need the second 300 that much. Um, if I find a way to, like, pick up a few extra hearts, or a few extra rupees that aren't... Because I was really close to 400 rupees when I bought the, the big bomb, and it's only 100 rupees, so... Picking up the second 300 wasn't really necessary. But then that also probably means that I spent too much time picking up rupees um, that I shouldn't have been picking up. Which is going to be a, one of those things like not picking up enemy drops unless there's something you absolutely need. Um, I also spent a lot of time getting extra hearts. Uh, things like that. And like all that stuff adds up, you know? All that stuff adds up. Like I probably, I, like I said, I could really easy, easily see 150 being my, my like my big goal is beat 150. Uh, that being said, I still really like randomizer. I'd like to get my randomizer time down. Um, randomizer is interesting in that you actually have to get a lot more stuff than you do in this. Um, because you don't know where everything is, so you're picking up all these chests that turn out to be useless, you know? Um, so you end up opening, like, tons more chests and having to go to all these different locations and open all these things that you don't do in this. Because um, it, it's kind of interesting, right? Like, basically every single dungeon is go mode. <laughs> like, yeah, see, if I could get all of these numbers to zero, we'd be, we'd be way up. But see, I had two games in the Mountain Tower. Right, because I died in Mountain Tower. Twice! I forgot about that. And then in Dark Palace I died. I forgot that I died in... That, that, that Tower of Hera was awful. What was my Tower of Hera split? What was my Tower of Hera split? Oh, it's not showing it yet. Let me uh, save splits, and then if I edit them, does it show it? No? No? Does it? Do I have to close the timer and then reopen it? Total games played, three. Yeah, gotta get that number to zero. Gotta get that number to zero. Timer. Live split, come back, please. Thank you, live split. Oh, I have two live splits. Okay, yeah, now it's showing it. Uh, my split time for Harrow was 30 minutes. Doof. <laughs> segment time for Tower of Harrow was eight, 8 minutes and 47 seconds. The segment time for Desert Palace, in comparison, was 8 minutes and 53 seconds. And remember that for Desert Palace, I have to go get the book. And I went and got the bottle I didn't actually really use that much. Um, that being said, without that bottle, I would have died to blind, but my blind fight went badly and I knew it. Um, I have done better blind fights for sure. Um, I think my big mistake in the blind fight was trying to fight him with the sword beams. I'm so used to doing it without them. Um, that I think that, I think that was kind of my mistake there. Uh. That being said, sword beams do make the fight kind of on the easier side, but, um, my Eastern Palace segment time was really small. I almost did the boss fight perfectly, actually. It was almost by the book. I just wasn't fast enough getting over and shooting down. Um, I did the, I did the right ones right. I shot five arrows correctly to the right, but then I didn't shoot down correctly. Um, it was really close. It was really close. My escape, I think, was a little slow. 718. I think it was a little slow. It was also um, segmented out wrong. 
because it should be segmented when I get control before getting the se the sanctuary heart. Um. Although actually, I think I want that to be when I leave sanctuary, as I think when I want the escape one to to pop off. Aghanim's Tower I did in eight oh seven, which isn't bad. Um, considering that you got to go get the Master Sword first. Palace of Darkness was a 12-minute run. I did the palace wrong, and I died there. I think I could save, like, I think I could get that one down to 8 minutes as well. An 8-minute segment for sure. Thieves Town, I did all wrong. On my way to Thieves Town, I just, I did it all wrong. I got the flute, but then instead of fluting over and getting the getting my powder and then leaving and coming back over there to do Thieves Town or, and then going in to go to Thieves Town and getting those rupees like I'm supposed to. Um, getting those rupees could be part of the skull is, could very easily be part of what you do before you go to Skull Woods though. And it should be, um, you should grab those rupees as you're going over to get your tempered sword. Um, you always get the tempered sword regardless of what you're doing. And then you do skull woods, um, which I did, but I forgot that I was going to do it until I was already on my way to skull woods. So that kind of messed me up a little bit. Um, ice palace was a 12 minute segment, which is, I got messed up on the boss. I know I had to ferry on that boss. Um, that boss fight just didn't go right. Um, you're supposed to use your fire rod, um, to break it out and then you bring up the, you bring your sword swing up and then before they split, you sword swing them, knock them upward, follow them up and slash them again to move them into the corner and then just wail on them in the corner. Um, and it'll do just a ton of damage to them. Even if they get away, you'll have hurt them really bad. Um, and then you should be good from there. But my fight with Cold Stair went badly. Um, so that could have been improved. And then beyond that, I think just the dungeon execution could have been improved a little bit. Uh, I did get the double kill. And I got the bomb jump within two tries. So that was pretty excellent. I could see myself really flailing on the bomb jump and like throwing that, throwing that whole dungeon because of that. Um... Misery Mire went fairly well. I took a bit too much damage and bounced off of things a little bit too much, but it went fairly well. Swamp Palace, I think, went actually quite well, really. Swamp That was probably one of the better Swamp Palaces I've ever done. Um, my Turtle Rock didn't go well because of Laser Bridge. I didn't do Laser, Laser Bridge correctly, but the boss fight I did really great until the second half. I did, like, half as good as it could be, practically, and then half... What do you even what have you played have you played this fast before? Um <laughs> And then Ganon's Tower I mean I really messed up the Moldorms. I messed I messed up the gauntlet quite a bit. Um or not the Moldorms, the Land Molas. I messed up the Land Molas with Silver Arrows, and I messed up the Gauntlet quite a bit. Um the Silver Arrows lag the game a lot, so if you use the Silver Arrows and you miss the land mullahs, like I did quite a bit, you add a lot of a lot of lag um, that you kind of want to try to avoid. Um, and then the Ganon fight went beautifully. Two minutes. That was a two minute... It was two minutes from the end of Ganon's Tower to, to picking up the Triforce. So... I definitely could do better, though. I definitely could. I can see a lot of splits that could be dropped in time. Even the Turtle Rock one. If I, if I could get Laser Bridge down and not have to grab as many safety fairies and stuff like that, because I was grabbing fairies all over Turtle Rock. If I didn't have to do that, if I managed my magic a little bit better so that I could kill the I could use the Fire Rod to kill those other two uh, pokey guys. Yeah. Could pretty easily drop the Turtle Rock down a couple minutes. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see if I continue to try to do any percent runs. I know that nobody watched this, but, you know. 
It's because you got games done quick. Why You don't want to watch this. But it'll be uploaded to the channel anyways. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go make food. And uh, when it happens next, it happens next. Um, I don't know what I'll be playing next. I know that I'm kind of trying to not start any long projects or anything like that right now because I'm going to be going camping this weekend. And I don't want to have a game going and then go camping and then when i get back from camping it's only six days until octopath so i think the only project i'm gonna have is gonna be like tomb raider or something simple like that um which tomb raider i do need to finish and i might play that some more tonight i don't know if i'll stream it if i do uh just because i might be watching games on quick uh, which is what you should be doing right now if it's still going um, but anyways, see ya.